welcome all to this uh, introduction slash uh, not a webinar workshop yeah. uh, to the T-board, electric T-board. Um, I don't know if you guys know the T-board already, but this is it. Yeah. This is the T-board. This is the actual size. And the biggest one is this one. Um, we're going to... Uh, well, yeah, first, like, yeah, yeah. explain, first, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, three, that we have three different models, right? So yeah, yeah, we have three models. Yeah. Uh, the small one, which uh, fits the 80, tiny, 25, uh, 45 and uh, 85. Mm -hmm. um, the next one uh, is one step bigger. You can put a bigger program in it, uh, suitable for the 80, 24, 44 and 84. And the biggest one, which is the one we're going to use and demonstrate in mm -hmm. a minute, is uh, the T-Board 28, which has an 80 mega 328, yep. which is actually the same uh, microprocessor as an Arduino Uno. Yeah, this one, actually. So it's really popular, so yeah, perhaps, I, I mean, the only difference, uh, as you may see, is uh, we, yeah, here we, you can connect an external oscillator, as far yeah. as I know. Yes, right? exactly. exactly. And then the, here you also have like a FTDI uh, yeah. connector. For so the probably use this known FTDI cable, you can just plug it in, use your ISB, uh, USB um, port to program. Yeah, and if you don't have this one, you, I'm sure you probably have uh, this uh, ABR MK2 uh, programmer yeah. of Atmel, the blue one. Everybody, you know, everyone oh, has one. Well. It's like it's like a, a mom, yeah. so everyone uh, <laughs> and and you can use the ISCP connector, and them all have. Yeah, this, so, yeah. this cable is actually only suitable for use with the biggest one. Yeah. yeah. And that has a reason. But uh, the T board, why the T board? Why is it the T shape? Why is it the T? Because your ties, right? Yes, so my it's ties. I'm sorry. So my it's ties. Uh, starting this with a T. This is my colleague. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the idea of a T board is that, uh, for example, um, Working with an Arduino is really nice when you get started with the microcontrollers because you, if you have no idea, it's everything there, it's everything clear. Yeah, everyone, probably everyone knows an Arduino. Yeah, but what happens when you try to connect like this board Yeah. here? If, yeah, that's uh, going to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, forget about yeah. your breadboard, yeah. you know. So. You don't have any space left. Mm. This is just, yeah, it's, it's, it's not fitting and there's no pins yeah, that you could use those but you cannot plug it onto the board and you don't know what you're doing actually so because these pins cables yeah that is why we did something like this it can be plugged in hmm. in a breadboard and what is actually quite neat is that you can fit it like this hmm. that way um, yeah let me let me show you yeah this part of every t-board this is actually it's the same, in. except for the connector, of course. Mm -hmm. This is a power supply. You can power it from uh, USB, this one, or with a uh, 6 to 9 volt yeah. uh, standard wall uh, plug. Or, yeah, or a, a 9 volt battery also, also yeah. works. works also fine. works. So, yeah. mm -hmm. You can switch it using a jumper between mm -hmm. 5 volt and 3.3 volts. Mm -hmm. So uh, depending on whatever you want to connect to it, you can choose between 5 or 3.3 volt uh, interface voltages, levels. Um, nice. So perhaps we can show, you know, yeah. what the board brings in. So, so let's focus on our biggest board, which is biggest, the biggest one. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, it's completely uh, Arduino compatible. Um, it has an FTDI connector here. Like I said, you can connect the FTDI yeah. cable, reset switch. Uh, power LED, DC connector for uh, maximum 9 volt connection. Voltage yeah. selection jumper, which I just explained. Yeah. Uh, actually, this is uh, unique for the T Board 28, which is this one. Mm -hmm. It's an external crystal you can connect. Yeah. I don't know if you can you assume this, but yeah. You don't have to use it. You can no. use the internal uh, crystal, hmm. internal uh, oscillator. But you can also use your own crystal and make it run faster or something, mm -hmm. if you want to. It's only possible with the biggest one, the smallest one, don't have the option for the crystal. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, also the ICSP connector yeah. frame I mentioned. And perhaps it's, not, it's worth noticing that these bodies are really, really easy on power. So I think uh, power yeah. consumption is way less than an Arduino, especially if you set it uh, working on 3.3 volts. Yeah. I'm, we were impressed when we are taking some uh, measurements of the current, and it's uh, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's like one third of an Arduino. It's, yeah, it's even it's even less. On, even less. Yeah. yeah. So it's. Uh, so yeah. So it was it was nice. Yeah. And environmental. Yeah. Let's friendly. do something. Yeah. Let's do environmental something practical. Friendly. I know you guys like that. Let's program an Arduino Uno. Good. Okay. So what we did, we have to switch to the Arduino environment. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, yeah. ah, let I'm me just, go. sorry, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is something everybody has done, you know, at least once in their yeah. life. Uh, it's like getting drunk, you have to do it once at least. And so we're basically burning uh, the most basic sketch. Uh, everyone here knows, uh, I mean, has been uh, working with an Arduino, Uno, because if not, we can just oh, explain what's a sketch and what's the uh, stuff. Sketch is basically a, a software you burn here. They call it a sketch. I don't know if, if it's because it's fancy or something, but I don't know. It's just a <laughs> yeah. It's just a, a piece of, of code. So yeah. we're gonna burn one to uh, blink an LED. That's the most basic application. It's the hello world of electronics. So uh, so sorry. Uh, and now we're gonna program it using the the USB that comes in on an Arduino. So it's a go to ejemplos. Sorry for the thing because it's my laptop and it's in Spanish. And blink. It's a standard uh, program that's included in the IDE. Yeah. This is it. This is what it looks like. Very easy. Yeah, one second <laughs> yeah. LED ahead. blinking. So yeah, we just uh, compile and everything. So it's already compiled. We load the code. And Okay, and there we are. Yes. Yeah, now I don't know if my cameraman can show that, but there's an LED blinking here, which is on the pin 13. That is like, yeah. To show it to the audience? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we have no feedback on the television, so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, I mean, there's no, nothing, just an LED blinking, easy. Uh, so we, I mean, what we're gonna do next now? Yeah. Can Switch. we get back to the presentation? <laughs> yeah, you have to hit it. Uh, yeah, no worries. Okay. Okay, so we have the Arduino program, and now? Yeah. We're gonna swap, just swap the microcontroller that's on here. Right. Okay, yeah. oh, yeah, we for, need, we for need that, a screwdriver. we need a screwdriver, important, yeah. So yeah, he's gonna take this Arduino, uh, this Admel microcontroller out, and I'm gonna take this out also, so. Yeah. To show you that, that you it's can, fully compatible with an Arduino. Yeah, no. and can, that you can jump easily, even, I mean, of course the microcontroller is the same, but the system is not exactly the same. But, okay, I'm done. Yeah, you are. I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> try, try the big one. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of stuck. Yeah. Try the other side. Yeah, you have to do like this. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's out now. Okay, so this microcontroller is burnt. Okay, we burned the code here. And yeah. I'm going to put it here. Yeah. Just, I mean, so you can see that everything is the same and everything yeah. works. And just a second. Socket. Yeah, we didn't screw any pins, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all set. Of course, we have to power this thing up. So, yeah. Sorry. For that, we're going to use the FTDI cable, which is convenient, and it's, uh, it will already power the board. So wait, because I don't want to burn anything. Yeah, okay, so we're there. Show it to the camera and to the guys. Uh, don't, never mind that this stuff because we just uh, stole this board from uh, one of our colleagues back home yeah. <laughs> uh, we said we needed it for uh, for the show yeah he was so working, he was working on something but never mind um, it's the same program running the blink program pro uh, sketch from mm -hmm. Arduino so it's completely compatible and it works but now Let's make it easier. Make it easier because Just we want. Use, yeah, what we want to yeah, do is to get rid cable. of of an Arduino. We don't want to pay twenty eight yeah. euros for every new application. There's we, also pain getting the controller out. It's a pain, exactly. You have to take the controller out all the time. So yeah, I mean, I love you, Arduino, but not now. So <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we get back. Make to it the, easier. Use an FTDI cable. Get and, back to the yeah. Yeah, we need to get back to the. And most probably people is thinking like, okay, but how the heck am I, am I programming a T board with an Arduino IDE? Yeah. 
you don't need to install any Atmel Studio or any. Yeah, usually I'm using Atmel Studio. Usually, yeah, so yeah, yeah, but you can do it directly with this one. So, yeah. okay, should I? Okay, yeah, well, yeah. The first thing I'm first, gonna first do. First, try to erase. Yeah, I'm gonna the erase the code. It's not really erase because it's just you know setting the microcontroller in an infinite. <laughs> Yeah. Empty loop. Yeah, so nothing will happen. So nothing happens. So you can see that it's a different different sketch yeah. running. Filing. Um, sorry, yeah. Now I'm I switch the to the FTDI uh, cable, so instead of using the com the virtual com nine, I have to use the virtual com eight. There it is. Ah sorry, I, I'm probably getting an error also. It it shouldn't work, but it works. <laughs> Shouldn't work because uh, you have to change the. Uh, not only, I mean here. We, the serial port. No, not yeah, but also the yeah. programmer. And you so right now, change. to uh, USB ISP. Yes. There we are. But yeah. in any case, it removed the erase the code properly. So yeah. I don't know if you can so see it. So the LED isn't isn't blinking anymore. Yeah. So it's reset. It's now reset. we're gonna do the same thing and mm. reload the blinking program yeah. using just the F. FTDI cable. So mm. this is how we start. We just connect the keyboard, connect the FTDI cable, open the sketch. Yeah. Yeah, we open a new one. Yeah, so open a new one. I kill this one. Uh, no, sorry. Sorry for the background also. Just a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna open a new sketch. You know, this environment is, is crazy good. It has everything. But let's go to basics, blink. And perhaps I'm gonna modify the code a bit, like you know, to make it go in faster. Le leave it small. It's uh, ah, sorry, outside guys. of the screen. Sorry. Yeah. Now it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna make it faster, you know, so it's more lively, right? Yeah. Excellent. Ah, sorry. Okay. Should should work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna burn this code using an FTDI cable and not the not the USB port. I mean, yeah. the Arduino. It's, it, I mean, this is also USB, but it's FTDI. Yeah. It's not the yeah. the Arduino as ISP. Yeah. So go for it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, we're all ready. So load. We're in com. Sorry again, I forget the, the com <laughs> the port. <laughs> Now it should go, it should run well. Yeah, there we are. There we are. And now we have an LED blinking at uh, 200 milliseconds, so five times per second. Yeah. So that's, it's, it's actually quite easy. And it's usable with the uh, Arduino IDE. Hmm. Switch to our presentation again. Yeah. Um, yeah, like uh, here. Yeah. So the program, we reload the same sketch. Reload the same, same and, sketch. Yeah. yeah. He's Dutch. Yeah, it's Duidelijk. Yeah. Alles klar. <laughs> Alles klar, ole. It works. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, mm -hmm. We do have a sneak peek for you guys. It's actually um, it's a prototype. There's a new T board coming up. This is our first prototype. Hmm. The. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, there yeah. it is. <laughs> Sorry for the <laughs> crappy animation. <I'm laughs> yeah, the T-Board XB. It's, uh, it's using the XB board, and it's uh, completely pin compatible and uh, exactly the same as the T-Board family. It's just a new member. Mm -hmm. And we're planning even more of these, but yeah, they're not ready yet. <laughs> these are probably going to be available starting January or February. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, that's so about yeah. it. Yeah, and it's basically a way to connect an X, a XB uh, XB module yeah. without taking you know all your space. So the module, as you can ah. see, will be out of the board. So yeah, basically the module is like floating. So we have space enough to yeah. access the module without having to you know. Yeah, plug this you thing. can access the, the pens actually, because otherwise you yeah, it yeah. would be a problem. Yeah. So that was yeah. pretty much all. <laughs> Thanks for your attention, your time. I hope you yeah. enjoyed it. And see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>